Welcome to CIC for Beginners. You're probably watching this DVD because you're just starting to self-catheterize. When you can't empty your bladder the traditional way, CIC is the best option. Doctors consider CIC to be best practice for people who have trouble emptying their bladders. It's been the medical standard for many years and people all over the world CIC every day, many more than you might think. You are definitely not alone. CIC itself is nothing more than inserting a small tube, the catheter, into the urethra and reaching the bladder. The urine flows down the tube and out. There are other ways to empty the bladder, but CIC is the most convenient method. It can be done anywhere you would traditionally empty your bladder, which means you can travel or work or just get on with your life with one less thing to worry about. Just as important, CIC empties the bladder completely and effectively when performed with the proper technique and equipment, important in helping you avoid infections or other complications. Many people with limited mobility or coordination see IC regularly. Children as young as five learn to do it. And with a little practice and our tips, it'll become second nature. It really does get that much easier. First things first. When you're just starting out with CIC, it can seem difficult. You have to get used to it for one thing. And you have to use the right technique that works for you. But most people who see IC do it five times a day. As you can imagine, it will come naturally in no time. With the right catheter and instructions, which you've probably already got from your healthcare provider, CIC doesn't hurt. But because you're not used to it, you'll probably react to the pressure of the tube as it's inserted. It's not painful, it just feels weird the first few times. I probably don't have to tell you how important it is that you stick with it. Our health depends on emptying our bladder regularly. It's one of the ways the body gets rid of waste. If you don't see IC as your health advisor recommended, it could lead to even more serious bladder and kidney problems. And since we're on the subject, let's take a quick look at how the urinary system works and why it sometimes doesn't.